Subscribe, hit that bell icon and share this clip if you enjoy it. This is TRS Clips. On the sandbox platform, do you, do you know about all this whole vibe? No. So everyone's talking about the metaverse. What mm. is the metaverse? Uh, think of it as an unlimited sort yeah. of land. Now, yeah. in different parts of the land, different companies own real estate in the metaverse. One of them is Sandbox. Mm. Okay, the reason Sandbox has come to the forefront is because Snoop Dogg, mm. uh, the rapper, mm. has kind of, I don't know whether he's bought he's or been, bought land, he's yeah. bought land within Sandbox. Okay, to build something called the Snoopverse. Yeah. And uh, nobody knows exactly what the Snoopverse will be, but it'll be a land in virtual reality. Maybe you'll have like some sort of a club in that land. You'll have a hip hop lounge. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you'll, you'll definitely have some sort of a smoking lounge, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, the news is that someone's bought a plot of land, which is geographically in the metaverse next to Snoop Dogg's yeah. plot of land uh -huh. for $450,000. Yeah. As in in Ethereum, but equivalent to $450,000. So that's where the world is going. Yeah. Would, yeah. would you ever like invest five years into it, into, into virtual land? I don't think that's far away. I think that's going to be there. I, I think it'll be a mixture of physical and virtual in that sense anyway. Um, anybody wants to see how that might be, you should watch a movie called Ready Player One. Yeah, uh, he, he's mm. talking about uh, Which is exactly that, right? It's, a, it's, a, a, it's, it's exactly where the metaverse kind of is leading. But I don't think it's an either or. I think the problem is I think most times people talk about oh the entire world is just going to be that way, but mm. we're going to do mixture. I think we wear it like would I do business meetings only in the metaverse? Yes, please. Right? Like um, let's let's keep the stuff which actually needs physical interaction out of that. But um, yeah, I, I don't see that not being also opens up a whole new form of real estate, right? A whole new form of assets that you can buy. Um, and suddenly this whole like you know there's this thing called the the divide between what you can own and what you can't own in the physical world. Right. Is there some way that can actually get balanced out? I don't know. There might be a possibility to balance that out once right. you go into the metaverse because suddenly people who could not, let's say, buy a house or, you know, buy land, etc. Because they've gotten the crypto game early, could they actually kind of buy land now? That, that's the logic behind holding on to your Ethereum in the yeah. long term. Like yeah. they say that it's not something you buy and sell yeah. and make money off the uh, rises yeah. and the falls of uh, Ethereum, but you hold on to it because it might become a sort of currency in the metaverse which is being yeah. built. Yeah. So which brings me to the point what Varun was saying is that um, I agree it's not an either or thing, right? Like for example, would you use metaverse to go buy groceries? Probably not. Have you see yeah, that demo? Walmart. Yeah. The demo is terrible. Like I saw that, I'm like, that seems yes, painful. That is so <laughs> painful. But would you want to do some whacked out shit, which probably isn't possible in the real world? Like, you know, like have your voice if speak in the form of an ant or some shit like that. You know, very whacked out shit or you're punching out like a demon or some mm. shit like that. That's what you'd want the metaverse for, not like to buy groceries from all mm. parts. It's also a creator and designer's game. The yeah. better the creators yeah. and designers make it, like you can go in any menial experience tomorrow, but as a good uh, design thinking oriented person, you can just make it better. Yeah, that's how I love it. So I think creativity is going to come to the forefront, and this this generation that we're talking about, be it Gen Z or Gen Alpha, which yeah. is the generation after, yeah. which is your daughter's generation. Will she be Alpha? I don't know if she'll be. I, be she's hmm. anything after two thousand five. Ah. Maybe she's the one after Alpha. I don't know if it's called Beta, yeah. but whatever. Yeah. Gen Alpha is the new term for. Kids. She was born in twenty seventeen, so I think she might yeah, definitely she be the one after that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they grow up in social media with a very good understanding of UI and UX, which we didn't have. She went up. and tapped the TV when she was like one year old and un didn't understand why that didn't move around because she, she thought screens for her have to be like an iPad. Like, <laughs> so maybe they'll be the designers of the metaverse. Hundred um, percent. And and we see this with, with Level, the mm. app that we're building. Yeah. Uh, some of our younger hires, oh my god, there are some of so many are self-taught. Viraj and me are talking about it, we're both single right now. Mm. And uh, uh, you want to say it? Yeah, sure. That whole designer conversation you're having. Oh yeah, yeah, so we're just like talking about how, you know, dating designers is just like a different experience, just uh, interacting with them. Dude, they're so creative, like, I'm like, you know, I'm in that phase where I'm speaking to this one girl who's a designer. Just the way she thinks, like, is very deep and very like creative. And I'm, I'm away from that creative process in a sense. You mentioned I'm very in that operational space, so I feel like it's very it complements that. Yeah, uh, I, I haven't dated any designers, but I've worked with a lot of them, and uh, their minds are very, very attractive. Mm. 
you know like i think it's something about so there's this concept called design thinking which is supposed yeah. to be a very relevant subject which some students are learning in international boards yeah. so your igcses and ibs of the world actually have design thinking as a subject yeah. for 6th standard students and 5th standard students design thinking is basically you looking at anything and asking yourself how can i make this better looking more useful now imagine a whole generation of people trained in design thinking mm. and you can teach yourself design thinking from the internet from a very young age yeah. but you will have such a strong edge in the world that's coming up with the metaverse where creators will drive it that's supposed to be the subject at the forefront but it's also an extremely attractive <laughs> uh subject uh to yeah for sure uh, i mean to see in someone else yeah